Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on function machines. So a function machine is essentially just a way of visually representing a set of operations in a specific order that take an input and give you an output. So uh, first we'll look at an input to an output. So this is the most basic type of question. And in this example, a function machine is shown below. What is the output if the input is 10? Uh, so the way we go about solving these questions is we just take an input of 10 and perform the operations in the given order. So we're going from left to right here. So the first thing we do is multiply by six. So 10 times six equals 60. Uh, so this is the first operation. The second operation is we subtract five. So 60 minus five is equal to 55. So our output is 55. So it's straightforward enough. Uh, what about if we have an output to an input? So here, a function machine is shown below. What was the input if the output is 48? So here, 48 is what's come out of the function machine. Now we need to go in the reverse order uh, to work out what was put in in the first place. Uh, so this is slightly more complicated. So we're looking at operation two first. So let's label this one and two. Uh, so something was multiplied by three to give us an output of 48. So to find out what that is, we divide 48 by three, which gives us 16. Uh, so therefore, uh, after the first operation, the output was 16. Uh, and th that first operation subtracts 10. So we need to do the reverse. So we get 16 plus 10, and that gives us 26. Uh, so our initial input was 26. Now you can check this uh, by going through the operations again, just to make sure it makes sense. 26 minus 10 gives us the 16. 16 times three is 48. Uh, so therefore that's the correct answer. If you want to practice some function machines exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback on. So this is a good way of keeping track of your progress and finding out what you need to do in order to improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.